My guess is, Marion, you called the show. Why are you here? To find out if a family acquaintance molested my son. If a family acquaintance molested your son. He's a police officer and a lot of trust throughout him. I've only known him a couple of months, but they were staying with their dad, and their dad let him go places with them. And Are you separated? Yes, and I told him, you're never to go anywhere when my kid's alone. You are not to, you know, take him to trips. Because their father lets them go on trips. They would go out of town. Your sons went on road trips with a grown man that you really don't know so well. What goes through your mind? I, I don't approve of it. I don't think any man should be taking somebody else's kid. I don't allow it. I, he's asking me... Have you talked to your sons? Yes. And what have they said about it? Uh, my son just told me Friday... Right up to her, like this, this past Friday, that um, he touched him. And so since Friday, I've been, I haven't had no sleep. And, and his, and. He uh, keeps coming back. He'll tape notes to our door in the middle of the night. He tapes notes to your door? Notes to our door. And what did the note, the notes say? Apology letters. And his dad would wake up in the middle of the night, two, three o'clock in the morning, and find our son up with the gentleman that we're talking about. And he, okay, wait a second here. Instead of kicking him out. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I wake up every morning at three o'clock. That's true. Every morning I wake up at three o'clock. And if I found my son with some guy at three o'clock in the morning, I'm caving that guy's head in. <laughs> that is him wrestling with my son on the floor. And my husband kicked him out right away as soon as we seen that. He was gone. He was told to get up and leave our house. That was in his father's house. <laughs> he text messaged your son, my little man, good night, I'll be up later. I love you more than I can say with words. Kiss, kiss from your loving uncle Flapjack. Big hus hugs and kisses, I miss you. Morning tartar. Be good, <laughs> love you, can't wait to see you. Love you. And I'm reading this, I'm like, why isn't this guy in jail? Have, do you have any romantic feelings for this guy? Oh, no. Did you ever sleep with him? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm married with a wonderful, wonderful husband. So and why is I this guy intensely. coming over and spending any nights over? I'm just, I don't know, Steve. I just let him spend one night. What are you, an idiot, for Christmas? And Billy is your ex. And this other guy, the creepy guy, is giving your sons alcohol. Billy and the creep are giving my kids alcohol. Let's meet the creep. Marion, how dare you accuse me of all this? Accuse you of what? What have you what done to my kids? You? Your kids? Look at what you've done. I don't see any problem wrestling around on the floor. As I told you, oh she with no. your old boy. No. That issue has been addressed. They're not allowed to sit in my lap anymore. Thank God. Or anything of who anything made of who, that who made that decision? That was mommy and daddy who made that decision. I'm told that you're a police officer. I work in that line of work, yes. Are you a police officer? No, I'm a police dispatcher. Oh. So you being a police dispatcher, you don't find anything wrong with what you're doing? It may appear to be wrong, but Personally, if there's an appearance me, of wrong, it you're probably wrong. is wrong. Did you tell me you were a police officer? No. What 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 would be the reason to kiss a year old a year old boy on the lips that's not your own son? <laughs> now, what the hell are you sending these messages? I love you, love you, love you to a year old? We send those back and forth every day on my way to work. You are how old are you? I'm 27. You're an adult. Yes, I am. Did you give him alcohol? Under his father's direction, yes, I did. Why do you want to give a child alcohol? Gee, I wonder why. I love you more, more, more. That's kind of a contest between us to see who loves more, more, more. <laughs> who loves each other more, actually. There's a guy like this in your community. Don't kid yourself. It's not even my kids, and I want to run across the stage and just pound your ass into the stage. <laughs> you and the dad took a lie detector test before the show, right? Right. Did you have sex with these boys? No. Did you ever grab their private parts? 
accidentally once for each boy. A lot of the overnight trips that we took a were lot. at the request <laughs> of the boy's father. Most of the time, either one of them would come and climb into bed with me when I was asleep. Can you believe this is happening up here? Who are you? I am who I say I am. And who would that be? Chester, the child molester? Yeah. No. Nope. Do you need help? What I really need help with is I need friends, I need a family to stand behind me and support me. I don't have any of that. Do you think you're gonna find it with children? No. Do you think it's a good idea to develop relationships with children that aren't your own, that you have no tie to? No. I asked you if you were a cop, and you told me you were. You told me you were a cop, and you lied to me. I told you I worked in law enforcement. You told me you're a cop. I trusted you. Why? I trusted you with my Why? kids. Why? Why did you trust this man? Because he was a cop. He told me he was a cop. A, I was a cop. Don't trust me. I don't trust nobody anymore. I only trust myself. Then you're damn right. With your children, that's the way you should have been. <laughs> did you see these text messages yeah, that he saw? Them. And what, what, you see them, and what do you do about them? Honestly, nothing. Okay. You tell me how you would let this guy take your sons on an overnight trip. I trusted him. He was a cop. Why? I trusted him. Did you hear about the sleeping arrangements? Yes. I wasn't real hot about it, but I heard about it. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't really hot about it. How the hell you let this guy take your kids, go on trips, buy them gifts, kiss them, give them alcohol, send them text messages, totally inappropriate, sleep with them in the same bed, and you're not doing anything. You think it, oh, whoa. What is wrong with you? You were asked, did you give Mark permission over the phone to give your kids alcohol? You answered no. Prior to your children telling you, did you have actual knowledge that Mark had sexual contact with your children? You answered no. Did Mark tell you he was a police officer? You answered yes. And the results of your lie detector test is that you told the truth. It's a rotten world that we live in. I try to enjoy it every day. I'm a very fortunate person. But I don't roll the dice when it comes to my kids. I should have put you away a long time ago, but I've been giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'll let you go. You know what? For a while. I, I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to look into the camera. I Don't give the anybody truth. the benefit of doubt when it comes to your children. Don't do it. <laughs> you were asked, did you ever have any type of sexual contact with Marion's son? You answered no. And the results of that question on the lie detector test is that he told the truth. Did you ever have any type of deliberate sexual? Physical contact with Marion's son. You answered no. Do you have sexual feelings towards Marion's son? Please step back. You answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with Marion's son on more than one occasion? And you answered no. And the results of that part of the lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. I knew it. I knew it. I, I did not. I did not. I did not. I swear to God, I did not. I did not. I swear to God, I did not. I hate you. I hope you burn it out. You be the You are the, one of the biggest dirtbags I've ever met. And the hide behind your, I, I'm the police, I'm, I'm with the police. Oh, You're the worst God. kind because people trust you. And I <laughs> certainly hope husband. that when you guys go back, oh. that the first thing that you do is call the police and start an investigation into this guy. Oh, I swear to God. But I got a feeling that somebody else's children might pay a price down the road. Exactly, exactly. You, you That's dirty, what I said. dirty man, <laughs> get the hell off my stage.